Hello everyone, myself Anil Sharma from Impulse Technology. Today I will demonstrate to you how to do the modeling and simulation of tandem solar cell using SETFOS software. So I would like to open this SETFOS 5.2 version. Now I would like to start from scratch. So I would like to click on file, then click on new button. Now this is a user interface of SETFOS software. First of all, I would like to enable the required module to run the solar cell modeling and simulation. So I want to enable this absorption module for optical property calculation and drift diffusion module for electrical property calculations. Accordingly, this absorption setting and drift diffusion setting will be enabled. Now I would like to click on this layer structure where I will define my layer stack. By default there are three layers is defined. I would like to add more number of layers. So I simply click on this add layer. So you can decide how many number of layers are required accordingly. Click on this add layer button to add that number of layers. Now I have defined these layers. I want to define the name of our layer stack. I would like to rename this layer and would like to define as a subscale. I would like to define the next layer that I would like to call as a ITO layer. Next layer I want to define as a P dot layer. Next one is called polymer layer. Next one is called JNO layer. And this is again P dot layer. This is polymer layer. Second, so that I want to define distinct name of each layer. Then aluminium layer and this is air. Now I would like to add the refractive index of each layer. The surrounding layer is zero thickness nanometer. If you want to change the thickness to micrometer, millimeter, or wavelength dependent, you can change from here. And ITO 75 nanometer. This P dot is having 60 nanometer. And again, this polymer layer is also having 60 nanometer. This JNO I would like to define as a 10 nanometer. And this P dot as a 10 nanometer, this polymer as a 90 nanometer, and this is 100 nanometers, and this is 1 nanometer. We can also change the unit of all the layers as well. Now, once the thickness is defined, I would like to define the refractive index of each layer. So, this substrate I want to define 1.5 n real parts and k part equal to 0 according to the absorbing or non-absorbing material. Now next I would like to define ITO electrode refractive index. Since the ITO, elect ITO material is not having constant refractive index, so I would like to open the file. I would like to import the material refractive index from the library. So I simply click on import button. And this is our library of material database where refractive index and electrical material and spectrum file is there. This is a complete material library. Since I required 
the ITO. So I simply press the I button and click on this ITO.nk file and click on open button. Now it has got loaded in this middle of sections. Right side you can visualize the layer structure and energy levels. Once we will define the electrode and semiconducting layers, energy level will be displayed. For the time being, I would like to hide this layer structure and energy level window to visualize the background screen. Similarly, I can add the refractive index of all our layers. Similarly, I click on file option and import the p.dot layer refractive index from our database. Now simply click on that and select that and click on open button. Follow the similar procedure for polymer as well and open this file. Now this is jdino.nk file and again p dot file I would like to open from my database. And similarly aluminium.nk file. Now refractive index has been set for all the materials. I would like to define the electrode. So simply click on this P dot and click on gen general option and define as electrode. I want to define the work function of this electrode. And bottom electrode I would like to set aluminium where work function I can set a different value. In between electrode all layers are semiconducting. So I want to add this polymer as a semiconducting, Zano as a semiconducting, P dot as a semiconducting and polymer second as a semiconducting. I would like to include the interface between Zano and P dot. I will simply click on this interface option. Now here there are three options, exciton dissociation, where I can enable this diffusion length for top and bottom region and generation efficiency for top and bottom regions. And I can enable the hoping interface models and define the frequency. and enable the electrical field barrier lowering. Now this is my structure. I can see the layer structure and energy level by clicking on this option. Now I would like to define the semiconducting material property as well. So I simply click on this polymer and click on semiconducting tab and would like to import the material from our library. But the, any user can also create a own material as well. So this is all our electrical material, semiconducting material database. Earlier I show you the optical refractive index material. But this is a electrical semiconducting material. So I can take this layer and similarly for JDNO layer I can import from our database. So 
all layer i can import the material semiconducting material from our library now optical material was set earlier and now semiconducting material has been defined now i go to this absorption setting to apply the spectrum so i can define this wave length range from 380 to 780 nanometer i can also change as well then i would like to define the illumination spectrum am 1.5 am 0 or global spectrum direct spectrum so i can click on it and open it here now the spectrum you can find that has got enabled red one is called the total wavelength and spectrum and blue one is called the range which we have specified from 380 to 780 nanometer in that range we want to work apart from all red range of wavelength i can enable this intensity scaling factor now i go to this drift diffusion setting where multiple modes are there steady states transients ac impedance analysis and imps intensity modulated photovoltaic spectroscopy initially i would like to select this steady state calculations i can apply zero voltage and define the temperature of 313 kelvin enable the doping then i can go to this steady state solver parameter and select the relative changes and define the relative changes residuum value i can enable the maximum iteration point coupled electron and hole continuity equations enable damping iteration damping factor we can change all the columns as per our requirements now i would like to add this swap setting mode where i can swap the value of voltage from one range to another range so simply i can go to this electrical parameter and select this voltage we can also swap the thickness homo lumo and other optical band gap and work functions these are all swapping variable multiple parameter can be swapped at a time and i can define the range from 0 to 1.5 with a 0.1 volt steps now i can define the name of my project this is my project name now i would like to click on run button to run the simulation now simulation got started and calculation finished you can find the calculated electrical ib key figures this is boc jsc fill factor maximum power and power conversion efficiency if you want to plot current versus voltage graph you can click on it you can find this is ib curve pink one is called recombination current and red one is called mean current so different color will show a different graph we can also see the anode current this is called ja and this is called cathode current in the form of green if you want to extract this data you can click on save button and save this visible data type the name of your extracted value and click on save button now your data has been extracted on the desktop folder Similarly you can plot other electrical profile you can click on band diagram this is band diagram homo lumo 
एंड एनर्जी रेफरेंस फार्मी लेवल विद एन टाइप एंड पी टाइप यू कैन डिसेबल दिस होमोलोमो टू विजुअलाइज ओनली एनर्जी रेफरेंस फॉर एन टाइप एंड पी टाइप इफ यू कैन स्क्रॉल एट दिस बटन यू कैन फाइंड विद रेस्पेक्ट टू वोल्टेज हाउ दिस बैंड गैप इज चेंजिंग Similarly, charge density plot, electrical field plot, in the form of multi-curve or in the form of checkboard. Potential with different voltage value from zero to one point five that we have swept. You can also plot a single value or multiple value on different voltage wise. So all graph can be shown at a time. in the form of checkboard at curve shape similarly recombinations plot with multi graph can be plot at a time optical generation efficiency and other characteristics you can plot the absorptance particular layered waste absorptance can be plotted reflectance transmittance so all electrical optical dc ac simulations can be performed so it is fully optical simulation electrical simulation and electro optical simulations this set first can also work for led devices along with the perovskites hybrid thin film organic and tandem solar cell applications for more information kindly contact to inform impulse technology thank you very much for watching this video